In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a box plot very quickly and easily in Desmos, as well as calculate the measures of minimum, maximum, and quartiles. So we have the following example, and we have the data up here listed in a nice uh, row. I can either take this data and enter it manually into Desmos, but I'm going to copy and paste it. So I'm going to highlight my data and do Control C to copy. I go over to desmos.com and I'm going to enter my data in the first box. I need to call it something, so you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it capital L and equals for a data set, you need to do use brackets to designate it as a data set. And I do control V, paste, and I've entered my 20 elements in my data set. Now I would like to make a box and whisker plot. So when you first open Desmos, you'll see in the lower left-hand corner, keypad, click on keypad, I would go to functions, and I want a distribution. So I click on distribution, and you can see box plot. Now it's asking the data set, enter the data set. Well, I want data set L, so I type capital L, and it has generated my box plot. You can see here. Now you can either get the values of minimum, maximum, and min, uh, quartiles one, two, and three from directly from this graph, or if you want to be precise and make sure you get the correct values, you can calculate them. So let's go ahead and do that for this data set. Say I want to know the minimum. I go to the um, open box here and I go to functions and I want the stats on this box plot. So I'm going to click stats and minimum. Then I have to enter my data set L, enter. So my minimum is seven, which coincides with the graph I see over here of seven. Now I want my maximum, so again I go to functions, max, my data set L, and I get 29, again corresponding to the box and whisker plot. Now I'd like to know the median of it, or the second quartile shown here. I go to functions, median, and I'm going to type L for my data set, enter, and I get 20.5, again corresponding to the box and whisker plot. Now I want to know the last thing. Uh, are the quartiles Q1 and Q3, the edges of my box. So to get those, I go to functions, quartile. This is the only one that is just a little tricky, but not bad. You have to tell it what list or what data set. So I want data set L and I designate the quartile one. So L comma one, that'll give me the first quartile, 14.5. Again, corresponds to my box plot. And now for the third quartile, again over to functions, quartile, I want my list L, quartile 3, and I get 26, which is located right here. In order to get my inner quartile range, all I need to do is subtract Q3 and Q1, or the width of this box. So I can also do that on Desmos, and I simply take 26 minus 14.5 and I get my inner quartile range. So that is how you use Desmos to very quickly and easily uh, generate a box plot as well as calculate the values. If you want to just type them in, you can also just type in the values. You do not have to go through the keypad. You can type in box plot L and it will generate the box plot just typing it in. So I hope this video helps.